What is going on guys? This is Saro Angie and I got a live commentary of an interesting map. So this map is actually made by me, but it's not just by me, it's also by three other mappers too. And the three other mappers are me of course and Pig Dog and Watsta. I think Watsta was the guy who came up with this idea where we could make like a custom module base map and basically you know the mappers would just try to like create their own maps and create a theme to it and basically the idea oh actually the game tells I mean the map tells you right here I'm just trying to talk that's why so right here this thing right here will pretty much tell you what you need to do so our goal is to get three demon hearts and right down here is the secret so I'm going to do like a live commentary of this map to promote it and also do a walkthrough just in case people get stuck or they don't know what to do or they're having like some problems with fights and I also want to do this to kind of like communicate to the mappers too. So what's the when I was mentioning about like the misaligned textures I meant this part right here it would be nice if you kind of like you know add a little more to cover up this area and I think yeah see it's definitely noticeable. It would be nice if you just, you know, add a bit more of this. And so right up here, you want to go up here to get the rockets. This is going to be very important. And another thing that I kind of don't get with this map is like, I basically made it where when you die, you should re respawn with your weapons. But for some reason, it doesn't really work that consistently on this map. I had Void Runner to play it, and he also like, had that issue too. And here's another thing, this uh, map was originally supposed to be four mappers, including all those three guys that I mentioned with and Void Runner, but Void Runner he couldn't like work on the map. He just felt like there wasn't enough network. So I don't know who made the last module, but I think it was Watts stuff. Because I remember I told him like to try to come up with something. And basically I'll tell you like um the modules and like who made this module and all of that stuff. So this one is made by Watsta. I really do enjoy the theme, it kind of reminds me of Turok. Although, I'm not really sure if that's like the accurate theme. But I, I really like it, it's definitely different. So this fight, you just basically want to go for the pinkies. They're really top priority on this part. Everyone else, not really. The pinkies are definitely a problem there. But they seem to always like spawn in this area here. Oh god, my nose is itching, man. So yeah, pretty simple fight. And it's really fun too. Oh god, gotta get that mega health. Alright. But this fight does get a little intense once the Mankabus starts to spawn. I think it's right after this one. Alright, so there's a... There it is. Pinky. Yep, it's this one. This is the tougher one right here. But it's really not that bad. So this is where the map gets interesting. Once you kill everyone, you have three options to enter, you know, to enter. And basically these three options, they all kind of like have their own theme. And these maps are pretty much supposed to be like created from other mappers. I'm going to go into this one here. I recommend you to like play how I play because I personally think this is like the easiest way to play this map because I feel like this one is the toughest one, and this one is definitely a good spot to go. So here we are in the nethers, or netherlands, actually the nethers. Uh, where was I? Um, oh yeah, okay. So this module was made by Pig Dog, and if you play a lot of his maps, you can totally tell like this is his style of mapping. Just this really like cool attention of detail, and. I, I always love how he's 
really good at like using the player blocking volumes and just making them look very attractive and so there's another switch that you can um, open the armor there not really sure why it's called the nether like maybe it's the nether world or something but to be honest I kind of forgot what that word means so yeah alright anyway so this level was basically like chain gun paradise once you like pick up this chain gun you get like a lot of damage and it's just really fun to like use the chain gun and just spray and pray pretty much every demon you see mainly because um I guess he wants to make the chain gun more viable because in my opinion the chain gun and snap map is really not that strong especially compared to campaign so it's kind of cool like you know this part is pretty much just chain gun porn really fun and this level is pretty short too and basically the Baron's kind of like a boss oh crap I definitely need some health there all right, let's use the rockets here. Oh man. What the? Yeah, pretty simple map. once you hear that basically you can go and grab the heart so your first heart so right here there's actually a key yep it's like a little secret I'm not really sure how I feel about this secret but I'll give my thoughts about them at the end of the video so I've always liked how pig dog kind of like creates his teleporters these are basically his teleporters here they always just look really cool so that was pig dog's map and oh yeah i forgot there's some rockets here now we're gonna go to my map so my map it's pretty much like a cave themed level and what inspired me to make this map was i've been playing a lot of recore like the game on xbox one and windows 10 and there's a lot of like caves and dungeons so i kind of like thought about making like a cave themed level but obviously I wanted to make it feel more like Doom rather than ReCore because ReCore has like a lot of pretty lights a lot of things that makes like the cave really attractive to look at but I didn't want that for Doom because it just didn't feel Doom enough for me you know but I still think this map does got some attention to detail so yeah here's my map and this is pretty much my last like map until like the update just want to take a break from mapping because I'm pretty much running out of ideas so oh, this once you get into my map one thing you should uh, um, notice is that the enemies do 3.5 times the normal damage so it's basically nightmare difficulty from the campaign so you gotta be very careful so this is a really nasty ambush but pretty not too bad as long as you're using haste and the rockets super shotgun combo say so just pretty much do this won't be too bad and there are some mega health just in case your health is too low die revenant all right we're gonna have to i might oh god you really don't want to get hit by the barons they do an insane amount of damage on nightmare difficulty all right that was good yeah pretty simple fight as long as you're strafing and using the haste ability really well so right here there's a little secret here don't think I added that thing just for attention I mean for you know the sake of attention of detail if you actually shoot it you can get a secret rocket launcher and that secret rocket launcher is right here so you gotta go back see now you can enter in this area and you can pick up the detonation line so what's the if you're watching this could you please update uh, my map and make all the weapons respawnable 
because I completely forgot to do that. And just in case, like, we get the... I mean, just in case when players, and, and they're playing this map, and they end up getting the bug where the weapons don't, like, respawn when they die, um, they can basically, you know, pick up the super shotgun again, the chainsaw again, all of that stuff, because it sucks being stuck at this part with just, like, you know, a shotgun with the triple shot mod. Like, it's really not ideal for this part. This part right here is pretty scary, you gotta be very careful. There's just a lot of- I absolutely hate that, like I have no idea why it can shoot through the walls at times. They're not supposed to. Alright, oh he's not dead? There we go. So this chainsaw, it's really important at like the end of this level. I'm at the end of this module, so save it. Don't, like, use it. Basically, this map is pretty much all about the uh, super shotgun and rockets. I try to make this map more, you know, um, explorative compared to the other maps. I mean, compared to the other modules. Because I feel like the other ones were, like, too arena-based for me, so I wanted to try to add some dynamics to my module. Oh, shoot. Oh wow, nice. But then again, you know, when, when I make maps, especially for this Doom, my biggest inspiration of level design comes from classic Doom and Quake 2. So yeah. Oh god. So, basically your whole idea of this area, you're supposed to look for two switches. And basically, when you look for two, wait, basically when you look for two switches, um, you can enter this area right here where you get the second heart. But you can also like you know just explore around the map and just see if there's anything you know interesting to find. So this is actually a secret here. Did you hear that explosion? Basically, that's supposed to explode some rocks so you can get a hidden regeneration. Alright, so this part I'm probably gonna have to be quiet. This part is a little tough here. Alright, once you get the heart, you're gonna get ambushed. Remember about the chainsaw? Oh shit. That's why you wanna keep the chainsaw there. Not only that, you're gonna get ambushed from these guys. Alright, come at me, boy. Come at me. Oh god, where am I? Well, what happened to the other Hell Knight? There he is. Oh, I did not want to melee him. I feel like I might... Hey, what's the? I feel like you should kind of like change the revenants positioning a little bit right here. I kind of hate how they get stuck here because I do want them to rush up to you. But yeah, once you pretty much um, clear out everything, I think yeah, I think I did everything here. So once you're done with everything, you go back here. Now you can enter in this little area. All right, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we only got one more module left. Now, because now we need one more heart. And this one is basically a, another health themed um, module, but it kind of feels a little different compared to Big Dog's module. And not only that, the gameplay is very different too, because at this point we were running low on the network, so I guess I, I believe Watts the made this module. I guess um, he decided that it was best to kind of like add respawnable enemies for this section and basically um there's really no point of killing the enemies it's all about trying to like find five switches and you need to like find these five switches to get out of this um module because you're just fighting you know a wave of respawnable enemies oh god it is definitely the hardest one if you have no idea where they are but I think I can remember them pretty well. 
that's two. Alright, where's the third one? Third one's right here. Alright, there should be one right here. So yeah, just pretty much follow what I do and this level won't be too bad. And here's the last one. And right here is for your secret. And there you go. This is the last one, I think. Alright, where's the... There it is. That's where I need to be. Oh god. Stupid specters. There you go. That's pretty much all you do. And yeah, this is pretty much the map. I will put like the map ID in the description box. If you want to like, you know, give it a shot. Anyways, the last secret is right here. Can I... Oh, uh, nope. So this is how I feel about the last secret. Basically, the last secret is a hidden BFG, but basically there's kind of like um, no point of getting it unless like you want to use it on my section, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but it is kind of nice that there is, you know, some secrets on this map. Uh, wait, what the hell? Wait. Uh, what the? I'm sure I have three hearts. What just happened here? Uh... Okay, this is weird. Let me go back and check something. Maybe I missed the heart? Oh, yep, I did. Alright, that was good. I thought that was a glitch there. I'm like, what the? But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, pretty, pretty much it for the map. So once you got three hearts, the soul pretty much tells you that you can escape the map. And you go down right here. So yeah, this is probably the first, like, community-based snap map. I'm not really sure. But it's it was really fun, you know, um, being a part of this little project. And I'm really glad that, you know, it actually, it actually got completed. So if you guys want to check it out... I'll you know put it. I'll put the map ID in the description box, and yeah, tell uh, tell me what you think about the map. Hopefully it's good because I definitely you know put a lot of work into my module, and I'm sure both Pig Dog and Watsdog did the same too. That's it for the video, and thank you for watching.